Example 5 in section 6.1. The TI-84 Plus comes with a rechargeable battery. So some versions of the calculator we're using, um, you can plug in and charge rather than replace the batteries. And the lasting time for a fully charged battery is normally distributed. Super important, that means we'll use the normal curve. With a mean of 7.5 and, and a standard deviation of 1.273. So that's our mu and sigma. And we're going to let x be the lasting time for a fully charged battery. So how long does the battery last? So I find it nice to write that next to the graph so that way when I look back later I remember what it's measuring. Um, we're going to sketch the curve for the distribution, so that just means draw the normal curve, and we'll label it. So we labeled it in words, now let's label numbers. So we may remember, right, the mean goes in the middle, so we'll put 7.5 in the middle, and then we go three standard deviations in each direction. So we'll subtract three times and we'll add three times. So I'm going to use the calculator since the numbers are a little ugly in this example. But we'll take the mean of 7.5 and we'll add the standard deviation, 1.273. And then we'll add 1.273 and then we'll add 1.273 for three times. So that means on the left side, as we add standard deviations, the first standard deviation is 8.773. The second is 10.046. And the final third standard deviation is 11.319. And then we'll do the same. Left side, we'll subtract. So subtract three times, one for each standard deviation. So the first negative standard deviation would be 6.227. Um, the second standard deviation would be 4.954. And the third would be 3.681. So the numbers are a little ugly in this example. But otherwise, it's pretty similar to what we've been doing. So part B, shade the area under the normal curve that corresponds to the percentage of batteries that would last less than five hours. So I don't quite have five, but I'm going to say five is close enough to 4.954. It's close enough, right? We're approximating. So and then less than would be to the left. So we'll shade less than. And now in part C, let's use the graph and empirical rule to estimate the percentage of fully charged batteries that would last less than five hours. Um, so remember in the middle, we have one standard deviation that would be from 6.2 to 8.7. So that's not useful here. So then two standard deviations oops, would be 4.95 to 10.046. Um, see if Take a second to think, do you remember what percent is between two standard deviations? Back in the empirical rule, and that was around 95%. So 95% would be the middle. So 95% would be between 4.9 to 10.046. Uh, that's not quite what we're looking for, right? We're looking for less than 4.9 or less than 5, right? 4.9 is our approximation for 5. So we know that the entire curve is 100 for 100%. So we'll do 100 minus 95. So we have 5% left over. And then that doesn't mean the left side is 5%. It means each piece gets half of that. So two and a half and two and a half. So if I wanted to check my work, I would take everything that I labeled and make sure it adds up to 100. And it does. So the whole curve is 100. We're only interested in the piece that's less than 5 or 4.9. So that tells us that 2.5% would last less than 5 hours, approximately, right? This is an estimate. All right, let's try one more example. We'll sketch the curve one more time. So go ahead and sketch the curve. I might do it a little fast, so pause the video if it takes you a while. Um, we already found the number line in the example above. So 
just doing those same standard deviations from last time, right? The data hasn't changed. We're just going to shade a different area, so the numbers are the same. So label the three standard deviations in your graph. The bottom should look the same as before, but we'll shade a different area. So if you're still drawing, pause the video. Um, otherwise, let's go ahead and shade the area. That would represent the probability. Remember, probability equals area. And we want less than 5, which we already did, x less than 5. So we already know that that's 2.5%. So let's label that. Right? Why do I know that? We just did that above. Or, or means add the probabilities together. So it'll be 2.5 plus something or greater than 8.77. So how many batteries last less than 5 or more than 8.7? So these are our really short batteries or our really long batteries. So now we need to figure out this yellow area to answer part E. So we want to use the graph to estimate batteries that last less than 5. We already found less than 5 is 2.5 or more than 8.77. And we don't know that one yet. It's not also two and a half. Notice it's a different size. So what I noticed about 8.77 is that was one standard deviation, right? Seven and a half is the middle. So 6.2 to 8.7 would be one standard deviation. And then what percent is one standard deviation? We might have to peek back. That's 68, right? But empirical rule only tells us the middle percents. So 68% is the middle. So 68% would be here. So then we'll figure out the two tails again. And then we only want to keep one of them. So we'll do 100 minus 68, and we'll see that we have 32 left over, which means this, oops, which means this piece gets 16 for half of 32. And then all of this is 16, but we don't really care. Um, so all of this is 16. Um, two and a half is just a portion of the 16, so if you wanted to find that out. So 16 minus two and a half means this little piece is 13.5, or that entire piece is 16, right? Different ways to look at it. But all we care about is the two and a half for the green area and the 16 for the yellow area. And we'll just add them up, because or means add them up. So it'll be two and a half percent plus 16 percent. So 18.5 percent would be either category. And that's it. So drawing the curve is super important in this section. So make sure you always draw the curve and label the three standard deviations in both directions.